How should you start up an aquarium? Should you wait for two weeks before you put the first fish in? How does the whole thing work? You hear an unbelievable amount of different opinions on how to start up an aquarium. If you do not know much about the subject, it is very confusing and you don't know what you should do. A professor in microbiology once asked me a clever question. He knew that I was an aquarist and we were talking about the microbiology, the bacteria in the aquarium. He asked me, when you set up an aquarium and wait for two weeks before you put in the first fish, why should pollutant-reducing bacteria emerge in these two weeks? There is no food for them. It doesn't make sense. Think about it. And he was right. It is indeed the case that a newly installed aquarium has no load. That is to say, no fish, no food, nothing. In this case, it takes a very long time before pollutant-reducing bacteria emerge. And this is precisely when the dreaded nitrite peak occurs. A toxic substance, the nitrogen compound nitrite, which is highly toxic, emerges because there is nothing present yet to reduce this pollutant. But the fish and the food that produce the pollutant are already there. For this case, a number of bacteria starters are available. In my circle of acquaintances, I hear time and again aquarists who say that they do not really trust bacteria starters. Although I use a bacteria starter, I prefer to wait one, two weeks before I put the fish in. And then there is also my professor's question. Why should these bacteria multiply and survive in the aquarium when there are no fish there? And there is hardly any food for the bacteria. That would be a waste of money. Our recommendation is based on experience. We do this at every aquarium exhibition. Put the aquarium in place or in water, put the fish in. All within a few hours, exactly as you are not supposed to. But precisely this works if you do it properly. What steps do we follow? We set up our aquarium on the first day. Everything completely finished, filter on, everything working. We then pour in a water conditioner because we need to turn our tap water into aquarium water. The water conditioner binds pollutants, neutralizes heavy metals and so on. We always give this one hour. One hour is enough. In this time, it does everything it should do. After an hour, we add bacteria. Bacteria are heavier than water. This means that you should give it a good shake, and very important, for the right dose. We then put the first fish in the next day. If we didn't do this, we would have the professor problem again. We would have bacteria, which are supposed to multiply. But why? This is why. We add the bacteria, and on the next day we put in the first fish. Not all of the fish, but just enough to give the bacteria food. With the result that we load the aquarium gradually. Next, we can simply, and this is a lot of fun, buy and add new fish every couple of days. This works for all fish apart from sitch lids. They are so territorial that you have to put them all in at the same time. Otherwise, there will be murder and mayhem. But generally, in our normal community aquarium, this works fantastically well. First, we can put in a few schooling fish. We can put in a couple of algae eaters. We can put in a couple of cory catfish. If you do everything gradually, it will work and there will be no problems. The nitrite will never reach a level where it becomes a problem and everything will work.